I'm uh, Petra Morris. I'm with the City of Albuquerque. I'm a senior planner and uh, I'm in the uh, long range section and I wanted to talk a little bit about a project that I've been part of uh, a very large team with which is the Albuquerque Rail Yards. Um, the rail yards came, or the railroad I should say, came to Albuquerque in the 1880s. And the buildings that we all see today down on uh, 2nd Street, right next to the railroads um, by uh, Pacific and Atlantic and Santa Fe, um, are actually the second set of buildings on the site. The initial buildings built in the 1880s uh, were demolished in the 19, uh, around 1915 and the current buildings were built between 1915 and 1925. So what we see today on the site um, is the second complex. The rail yards had their peak employment level during World War II when we had over 1,500 people working on the site, including a number of women, as there were a lot of men out at war. The rail yards had a main role of servicing and rebuilding steam locomotive engines. Engines would come in and uh, be repaired and serviced daily at the roundhouse, and every 400,000 miles they would also be taken apart completely, and every part rebuilt or remade, and as it made its way through the buildings and back out onto the rails. At one point, a quarter of Albuquerque's population was employed at the rail yards. And so the payroll coming out of the rail yards had a huge economic impact in Albuquerque every week. So um, the rail yards, how did they get from being the rail yards to now owned by the city of Albuquerque? Well, in the 1950s, um, the Atchison, Tampico, and Santa Fe Railroad Road began to change from steam locomotives to diesel engines. And in 1956, the last steam engine was retired from the rails. And when the rail yards stopped being a steam locomotive's location, much of the work that the buildings were specially built for um, <coughs> didn't really quite fit anymore. And so the rail yards became the CWE shops, the centralized work equipment shops. And the buildings continued to be used um, by the railroad right up until the 1990s. However, their role changed somewhat and they went from being a repair and service location to a storage and other repairs um, works. So in uh, 1990s, the property was sold to a group of developers who were interested in developing the site. And uh, they worked through some ideas and they didn't quite work out. And in 2007, the city of Albuquerque purchased the site for 8.9 million. Some of the money came from the Wheels Museum and some of the money came from workforce housing. And so that money means that as the site gets redeveloped, those both have a permanent home on the site, workforce housing and the Wheels Museum. So at this point in the process, um, the rail yards is going through a master development process. In 2010, a uh, request for proposal was released and um, Semitar Constructs from uh, Culver City were the winning um, group and they uh, signed a master plan agreement with the city of Albuquerque in 2012. We're now going through uh, a review process for the master development plan there's a draft plan, it's available on the website if anyone's interested in having a look at it. And it goes through some conceptual ideas for the site and has a policy section to guide redevelopment as development of this site is going to take a very long time. Uh, we'll start seeing things happening in this spring, but the site will probably have development activity going on for the next 20 years. Um, it will go through many different iterations and the document that goes with that has to be somewhat flexible to go with that. So we're working on that document. Uh, the draft plan was presented to the Rail Yards Advisory Board um, this fall and it went through the Environmental Planning Commission who are also a recommending body and it's now with City Council. The City Council will be having their first hearing on February 26th 
and uh, we hope that everyone uh, stays engaged. We've had an incredible amount of uh, feedback from the public. We've had a lot of thought and consideration and um, I almost like love letters written to us uh, all about people's <laughs> thoughts about the rail yards. There is, there is no shortage of love and concern for the site, and which makes it a very um, hard project to work on because uh, we want to make sure it's the right thing happens um, and that we don't let Albuquerque down because this is a very exciting property. Um, the exciting thing that is going on right now is uh, the blacksmith shop, also known as the yards. Uh, this is an interim use on the site. This is um, one of the smaller buildings on the site. It's really not that small, but when you compare it to the larger buildings like the, the machine shop, it, it feels small. And uh, the mayor has spent uh, approximately a million dollars uh, cleaning and restoring the space. And so you can see that the site is a little bit of a sponge for money. Um, the grand opening was uh, September 27th, and on that day we had about uh, just over 2,000 people come through um, over about a four hour period. Um, coming in, we had uh, live music, we had uh, food trucks out front, and there was um, some uh, car shows and a couple different booths, and it was a, a nice evening. The, uh, the rail yards hasn't had any events since then because it's been kind of cold weather. But uh, Cultural Services is planning for uh, events to start this spring. Um, probably we'll be seeing the first events coming out either March or April. And one of those first events is a Sunday Growers Market start starting in April. And the Sunday's Sunday Growers Market is something that the Borellis community has been working hard at and they are excited to see in this space and uh, so they'll be there every every Sunday starting in April. So the rail yards um, is I think a, a huge and exciting part of downtown Albuquerque but it's it's one part of many it's uh, it's just one site and I I see it as a very exciting part, but I also see a lot of other excitement downtown. Um, UNM is, um, has bought or is buying, or I'm not quite sure exactly what, but is very excited about um, <coughs> Central and Broadway and uh, the first, known, known to a lot of people as the first Baptist church site, they're calling this Innovate ABQ and they're looking at having um, an innovation hub and some housing and student classrooms uh, at, a, at the site at Central and Broadway. Um, Casitas de Colores has opened and I believe has residents moving in either right now or any minute now. Um, there is more housing planned for downtown. There is a grocery store coming which also has housing above. So not only is it a grocery store but it's also um, housing which downtown solely needs. Unfortunately, um, the National Institute of Flamenco lost their space recently to fire, but that means they need a new space, and I hope that they are going to remain downtown. And the Public Academy for Performing Arts Charter School is still looking for a permanent location, and my personal fantasy would be for them to be downtown in Albuquerque. As we have so many performance venues down here, I think it's uh, a very, very logical location. Um, there is a request for proposals also out for the Fourth and Cole site. So there are a lot of things right now um, in the hopper, as they say, uh, for downtown. And I think it makes downtown a very exciting place to be.